elements of the modern way uh, a small group can defend itself uh, uh, in an environment of uh, uh, much bigger hostile countries uh, like we used to have most of our time. It becomes better and better perhaps, but still we, are, we have this problem. <laughs> and uh, if I take, uh, if I give you only one example, and this is the, the uh, recent uh, conquest of Baghdad in 2003 by the Americans, they used in this operation uh, almost 66 zero satellites in order to do this. And then at the end of the day with something like uh, uh, 500 tanks and a very small numeric military force, they uh, succeeded in conquering uh, uh, Iraq within three weeks. I'm not talking now about the war they have there today, which is terror and guerrilla. It's a different story, of course. So this, well, this is the second. And the third one was also mentioned by, by the, it's um, uh, Israel, like I think any Western uh, country, um, uh, we want to build a knowledge-based society there is a problem uh, uh, convincing young children graduating from high school to go and take the right subjects and enhancements in, in, in exact sciences, mathematics, physics, etc. And there were a lot of studies done on it and, and, and in many Western countries and all of them found like we did here in Israel that there are three subjects which attract the imagination of youngsters Space is one, dinosaurs is one. If we could perhaps launch a dinosaur to space, it would be. And ro robots is the third one. And, uh, so space is a, is a very good issue uh, uh, trying to attract or to capture the imagination of children and at a very young age uh, convincing them to, to take the right subjects in high school. Now, because of this, we decided long ago to go into space, and, and, uh, but then we found ourselves in a real problem, because we are seeing a place in which we can launch our satellites only into the Mediterranean Sea. We cannot allow ourselves to, to that the, the stages of the launches will fall on our neighbors, so only westward, but Earth is rotating the other way around, rotating eastward. So if you launch against the rotation of Earth, you lose a lot of energy, and this is a real problem. And we want it to be independent. And, and uh, the way we solved it is by miniaturizing um, our satellites. When I say miniaturizing is, I mean, everything has to be miniaturized or at least uh, a very lightweight without losing the performance. If we uh, launch, for example, um, uh, reconnaissance satellites, performance is measured in resolution. We want resolutions that will enable us to see uh, whatever we need, still have it in, in a very light way. So we developed a unique uh, uh, capability of a very small, or small is not the right way, very light, it's, I mean, if you need a telescope, it cannot be small. There are some physical uh, uh, dimensions that are needed to have a certain resolution. But very lightweight um, uh, components, materials, etc. We invested dozens of years in, in, in achieving it, and at the end, we succeed in launching satellites which are first line uh, in, in terms of performance, but something like one order of magnitude, uh, something, uh, a factor of five to 10 uh, 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 lighter than the uh, equivalent satellites launched by the United States or Europe. And we have quite a good number. I mean, I, I was a few weeks ago in, in, in ESA, in Aztec, in Holland, the, the main center of a European Space Agency, and I thought that they have something like, I think, 12 or 13 active satellites which they control currently. Uh, we don't usually tell the number of satellites we have in space, but it is only two or three satellites less than this. 
<laughs> so numerically, it's it's an achievement, and and the, one, one thing you have to remember that once the satellites are light, they are also cheaper. I mean, there is a direct relation here, and which enable us to launch uh, perhaps uh, more satellites. Uh, uh, by the way, the first question they asked me there, and this is always the, the first question when I meet uh, new agencies, that, that why, why all the spacecraft in the world are going uh, eastward and yours are going westward? <laughs> Before I tell them the, the, the real reason, I always tell them that our engineers are doing the engineering in Hebrew. <laughs> so, uh, but this is, of course, a joke. Uh, we uh, submitted to our government, uh, with, with the, by the way, we are now in the president conference, we should mention him too. Uh, he was a key factor in convincing the government to uh, enhance the uh, um, investment done in the uh, scientific and commercial space, not the defense and security, which from this, we, uh, I mean, everything started from this, but once we have this infrastructure built already in Israel, uh, the next step, the next natural step is to uh, uh, put more investment in the uh, academ academy and, and industry and to make use of this infrastructure for commercial and scientific uh, 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 motives and, uh, and, and the, the president and prime minister uh, um, uh, created a team which I led and we submitted uh, a year ago to the uh, government a new program for um, enhancing or investing more in these fields and it was proved by the government and we are just now at the first steps of uh, uh, deciding what exactly uh, areas we will enhance but it is very clear for us that uh, um, we will go and make use of the relative advantages that we already have, that is miniaturization of components uh, and weights and something like this, increasing, by the way, the cooperation with other agencies, mainly um, uh, some of them we have already good uh, uh, cooperation, like India, but mainly in Europe, uh, ESA, and, and of course the United States of America. Uh, and I will uh, finish by giving a very small uh, example on, on one thing, on one activity only, and this is, perhaps you heard about it, it is called uh, uh, Space IL. There is a competition uh, in, uh, uh, created by Google. Who will be the first one that will put some vehicle on Moon uh, with certain uh, uh, um, um, performance? I mean, the vehicle should uh, go at least 500 meters on the moon, etc. There is a very small group of Israelis uh, 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 trying, Space IL trying to do it. Uh, and, and this is a very good example to the assets that we really have, people and, and boldness in a way. Thank you. <laughs>